I've had amazing opportunities to travel throughout my football career with England, with Chelsea, and more recently Juventus in Italy. Travel has become a real passion of mine, and now as I'm retired, I'm excited to launch a new business in that market. Hello, go. Options both sides. My most memorable achievement and probably my biggest achievement is winning the FA Cup at Chelsea in 2015. It was the first time the FA Cup was ever played at Wembley for a women's team. You can't be more English than playing for England, <laughs> you know, like that's the epitome. But it, it's not been easy, you know, like my name is Eniola Aluko. A, a lot of people always question like, well, you're not, where, where are you really from? When I released my book, one chapter really resonated with the audience, Embrace the Hyphen, about my British Nigerian identity. I realised so many of my friends and people I'm close to have similar hyphenated backgrounds. I wanted to find a way to turn this community into a brand and came up with the idea of a travel lifestyle brand called Hyphenated People. The concept is so inspiring for me. And the stories, my story, your story, talking about me being a British Nigerian woman, but then also became someone of, with hyphenated career as a lawyer, as a footballer, yeah. as an author, as a pundit. It's, it's, it's so fascinating to me because, you know, I can relate, you know, having mm. grown up in, you know, growing up in Ukraine, going to the US, coming here, and, you know, people always asking you, what are you? Are you Russian? Are you American? This and this, right? right? So the same. You know, when I first went to Nigeria, I was obviously this brummy kid from Birmingham. I had like a Birmingham accent. And everyone was like, you know. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Uh, yeah. I think in those, in those sort of teenage years, yeah, it's quite obviously. difficult, right? You're, you're trying to fit in. You was in high school, I want to be called Mike. It's crazy <laughs> to think about it now, right? Mike. I'm going to start uh, calling you Mike. Yeah, I call you Mike. So, <laughs> Misha's better. To Misha's call, better. Yeah, I was, my name's Misha, right? Like, he's not trying to hide it. He's not trying, he doesn't think there's something to be ashamed of. I mean, right. this is something to be celebrated. And I think that's where the concept is really important for the brand. It's about creating something that can create community, but yeah, also yeah. celebrate our differences individually. Whenever I have time, I would try to visit local markets because they're such a great source of inspiration for me. In terms of like what I want hyphenated products to be, it's wash bags, it's hand luggage, it's backpacks, passport holders, those things that, you know, are very personal to you when you travel. Writing a book was releasing a product and being the sort of entrepreneur behind that book, if that makes any sense. So everything from the way the book looks, the name of the book, everything, I was very involved in that process. So I feel quite comfortable now in the sort of creative space in terms of putting ideas together to launch something, launch a product. Before we get into any of the creative work, the first thing to say is this is a big deal, defining what it's going to be called, how it's going to behave, and this is really the sort of the, the start of that, that process. We were struggling with the length of the name because mm. it works as the title to a book, works as a content series. I think I'd said when we last met, I was very interested in the idea of hyphen. And then we put that up there and we just kind of just loved how well balanced that was. There has to be something in there for me that shows that that represents balance. Mm -hmm. You know, between, sure, between lettering. two things, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels a little bit more, um, a little bit more sophisticated, yeah, I think, because refined. you've got, yeah, more refined. Mm. Isn't and it? this one, you can mm. see multiple hyphen. You can see, yeah, the, yeah, you know, the whole the thing is about hyphens. The e as well. Yeah. My heart and my gut is telling me that's. That's great. This is where we yeah. went to. I've always pushed myself to be the best than me because I've always had to. I think as a striker as well, you are judged by an objective thing, which is goals. My role and job from a young age has always been put the ball in the back of the net. Having months which I have to fit in around my football, my media career. This business will also become a big focus of mine. So if we can put that higher, I think. It's nice to finally be here after a lot of talk and ideas that have been in my head. Keep, keep that as it is. And I think the, the piece that actually speaks most to hyphenated people concept is probably this one. Yeah. 
So it feels really great to have uh, friends here to share this moment with me, friends who embody the brand themselves as, as hyphenated people themselves. I think it's fantastic when somebody has an idea and when you believe in it so much, you do want to see them succeed. She's doing something that she's really happy. I'm excited to see where it takes her. I met NA a few years ago and we kind of connected through sport. I'm a former athlete uh, and is an amazing football player. So we developed a kind of coaching, mentoring relationship and she's become a friend. It's exciting but overwhelming that hyphen is becoming real. I was lucky enough to reach the pinnacle of my sport, but now I'm, I'm doing this side hustle with a new brand. Really excited to start a journey and hopefully get to the top of the mountain with that too.